Cloudflare is the leading cloud provider for network infrastructure. The company's mission is to help build a better internet. They build tools for online businesses to help them be more secure, more reliable, and more performant. They have around 100,000 paying customers and did around $350 million of revenue in the first three quarters of 2020 and had a 50% year-over-year growth. Let's take a look at their products. They offer products in five major categories. Security, an integrated cloud-based security platform to protect the private cloud, the, the public cloud, IoT devices, and SaaS applications. Second, performance, solutions to help increase customer conversion, reduce churn, and improve web and mobile performance. Reliability, products to improve operational excellence on the internet. Platform, a solution for developers to build and deploy serverless applications on the cloud. Last but not least, consumer offerings. Cloudflare offers consumer products to enable customers to have a secure and performant internet experience. An example of that is 1111. Cloudflare discusses a network and product flywheel that is mainly created by its serverless architecture. Cloudflare developed a serverless network that can be deployed on commoditized hardware so that developers don't need to worry about their underlying infrastructure. What is serverless computing? Serverless computing is a way of writing and deploying code without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. So your code can scale and you don't need to worry about the infrastructure. Let's take a look at financials. Their net dollar retention rate is above 115% and has been increasing over the years. They have around 20 million properties on the internet using their products and they block around 76 billion threats per day. Around 16% of the Fortune 1000 are paying customers. One interesting stat, over 70% of their customers use four or more of their products. That shows how their customers love them and 48% of their customers are international businesses. They also have an extremely efficient sales cycle. Their sales cycle for enterprise customers is less than a quarter. They've been focusing more and more on bigger customers and 91% of their revenue in the past quarter was from direct sales and the rest was from channel sales. In this graph, you can see that they have very high and stable gross margins. The payback period has been increasing to now around 22 months and that's due to increase in sales and marketing costs. Because of COVID, their revenue growth has been increasing in the past four quarters, but their gross margin has been extremely stable. If you look at this customer cohorts graph, you can see that for every year that they add new customers, they keep them and they keep increasing their customer cohorts over time. And the dollar retention rate, as you can see, is more than 100%. That's great news. Let's take a look at their total addressable market. According to IDC, the total market represents around $32 billion and is expected to grow to $47 billion by 2022, representing a 10.5% compound annual growth rate. Their competitors include on-premise network hardware vendors such as Cisco, FireEye, and Palo Alto Networks, point solution vendors like Zscaler and Akamai, and some services provided by major public cloud providers such as AWS and Google Cloud. So let's take a look at its valuation. As you can see, they haven't posted any profits yet because they're investing in growth. So we need to analyze it based on the next 12 months revenue. And looking at its valuation right now, around $25 billion, their valuation right now is 40 times the next 12 months of revenue. That's a hefty valuation. But looking at this company, you can see that they have strong net dollar retention rate. They are growing at a consistent rate. They have high gross 
margins and they seem like a really good company. If you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. I hope you like this video. Bye.